There are still 8,000 absentee ballots that need to be counted in the race for Congressional District 2 seat. Republican Yvette Harrell versus Democrat Xochitl Torres Small. And right now, all that separates them is a little less than 2,000 votes. News 13's Marissa Lucero is live in Doniana County, where all those absentee ballots are being counted at the moment. Marissa. Yeah, Kim, let's give you a look at what it looks like in here, where they're counting all those ballots. Now, yesterday, there were only seven people working here. The county clerk tells us they were overwhelmed with the number of absentee ballots they received. So today they added 10 more volunteers. I talked to the presiding judge. I saw the fatigue. I saw the swollen hands of opening um, opening ballots. Um, I saw the um, just really they were I didn't want them to make mistakes and it was not reasonable or right for me to expect them to work throughout the night. Oh, yesterday, that group of seven people got through nearly 5,000 of the 8,000 absentee ballots here in Doña Ana County. They worked from 8 in the morning until midnight last night. The county clerk says the number of absentee ballots they received this year is quadruple what they usually see. Uh, the race between Republican Yvette Harrell and Democrat Xochitl Torres Small has been a tight one since the very beginning. Uh, last night, Torres Small addressed her crowd of supporters, saying she wouldn't concede until all those votes had been counted here. Meanwhile, Harold's camp uh, celebrated last night and after unofficial numbers came out showing her with that slight lead. I think for me it's just a testament of the values of New Mexico. Um, I think still by and large CD2 is a very conservative district. It doesn't, and I've said this a number of times, just take the party affiliation out. It's just New Mexicans, it's Americans, it's a red, white, and blue issue. If the 17 people working today will finish up by tonight, what we do know is that each camp also has people here overseeing these votes being counted. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Marissa. Now, the seat they're fighting for is the seat that Steve Pierce vacated in order to run for governor again. We have not been told if those 17 people will wrap up dealing with those absentee ballots by today. We do know that each camp does have people there overseeing as the ballots are being looked at and then also counted. Now, camps from both candidates say they cannot comment until all those votes are counted and everything is official.